everyone welcome back to my channel um if you are new here hey hit that subscribe button and that like button if you do like this video if you aren't new here nice to see you again um in this video i'm going to be showing you guys a buy haul and what buy is is a japanese proxy website where you can go on there and shop like mercari ebay yahoo auctions type of website and you can buy things straight from japan um i use it to buy designer clothes because for some reason once the american girls guys and in betweens get their hands on designer items they like to up the price crazy and i'm not paying for that like i'm not paying for that you know so i just like to go straight to japan and they price their stuff reasonably for designer things that are secondhand are used that are vintage so i love this site i have maybe two hauls to show you guys this is one of them i have another one on the way so like i said if you are interested in this if you like this type of content go ahead and subscribe also follow my instagram to see me style different outfits post my interests, and i'm very active now on instagram so go ahead check that out also if you want to look at my tiktok there's my TikTok as well, but yeah, so let me just get into this video. So I have, <laughs> as you can see, this huge box of stuff, and it's not that much stuff, but I do have some purses, that's why it needed to be shipped in a box, so I'm just going to probably start with the purses, I guess. So the first thing I got, which I love so much, is this vintage diesel purse diesel has been coming back into style and honestly i remember being a 90s baby and looking at magazines in the early 2000s and i remember the diesel ads i primarily remember the diesel ads that were like showcasing their denim and i always loved the way it looked but by the time I got older, I guess the hype of Diesel kind of died down, so I wasn't ever really to buy anything. Or I kind of, honestly, I kind of forgot about it. So I love the fact that it's coming back in style. And I wanted to buy some stuff from the new collections that they've been showing, which I probably will eventually. But I was like, maybe I could go and buy and try to find something. And obviously this purse, I love the shape of this purse like i don't have any type of purse like it it has zipper detailing like diesel's known for like its leather zipper detailing and also its denim of course and i would say probably its buckles i see a lot of um buckle themed clothing with diesel and it has the diesel logo on the front and yeah but I can't hold much in here, but usually if I'm going out to like a party or a get together or whatever, it's enough room to hold like my phone and my little makeup and sprays. So I love it. Second item is also a diesel bag and it is this one. I love, I, I don't know if the camera's picking up the color. It's like a cement color. I love the color of this bag. Um, and it's just so like Diesel's early bags like with the 90s and early 2000s were just so unique it has like this plexi resin or plastic I don't know what it is but it has like this kind of like toggle in the front and all around it it's engraved in Diesel and I just really like the bag as well because it's like in a little cute square like you don't really see bags like this in this color and with this detailing um it's a lot more spacier than the other black bag and yeah i just think it's so cute i i love this bag so much like i'll put the prices on the screen of what i bought them at and i'll do it like translation from yen because it is from japan into american dollars all of this stuff was relatively cheap um i'll talk about like buy shipping and all the other stuff at the end of the video so to keep it on with diesel theme um this 
that was all the purses I only got two purses from this haul and next is also a diesel item and it is this diesel vintage diesel orange burnt orange like I would say like a bomber it's like a between between a bomber and a biker jacket I would say um I was so unsure on buying this only because I don't know if I'm weird but I have like over the years I now have like kind of a strict color palette that I like to wear and orange is not in that color palette but it was like a burnt enough orange I felt like maybe I could like style it and possibly like maybe like resell it or something but I just kept seeing it on my search and I couldn't like I, I just I couldn't not buy it because it is just so cute and like interesting to look at like it is so y2k and like i don't mean y2k as in people get it mixed up with like mcbling era of like pinks and velour suits like that's more mcbling y2k y2k is like more of like bubbly futuristic fashion and this fits right into it um it's a little small but I am able to squeeze into it. Mind you, Japanese sizes do run a little bit small, so make sure you kind of check the description. And honestly, if you, you just luck out if you happen to fit it or not. Next is something I genuinely want to cry over because, 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 because. It is this diesel skirt. And I cannot fit it just like what I was saying like it's really you're lucky if you can fit it or not I cannot fit this skirt and for some reason my brain does not compute that I cannot fit this skirt because I'm pretty like good well uh maybe I'm lying but I usually maybe like seven times out of ten I can look at an item and kind of like eyeball it to see if I could fit it or not and for like this waist I feel like I can fit this I feel like I can fit this but I've tried it on two separate times and I cannot fit it like I genuinely want to cry like do you see this skirt like look at the back it's just like the perfect like and it like goes perfect with the jacket and I just I just want to cry like I'm I'm gonna try to fit this three to two more times I'm really gonna try and if I don't I will resell this because it makes no sense to hold on to a skirt that I know I cannot fit I love the choices of green like I just can we can we please bring back older fashion like I know we bring it back but like can we genuinely bring back the color palettes the color choices of vintage clothing because it is just so beautiful to look at and like to think our parents took this for granted because honestly it was cute and once millennials hit I'll say this and I really mean it once millennials hit we I'm like on a millennial Gen Z cusp once half of me hit we almost killed fashion like I, I skinny jeans toms gauchos if you remember gauchos we almost murdered fashion and i just bring it back bring it back please random but not so random um i don't know how i feel about gap like i just kind of feel like it was like the old navy of its day but I saw like this cute gap long sleeve. I thought it would be smaller since Japanese clothing is usually smaller. Like I thought it would be tighter on me, like a form fitting fit, but it's kind of a little bit loose. I might like re sew it to like tailor it to be tighter to my body. But otherwise, I think it's cute. It's like a waffle knit and it's a little bit see through and I don't know. I kind of think it's cute but then I'm like well, did I really need to buy it it's also a double X 
small so I don't know why it's not super tight maybe it's a men's um maybe it's a men's extra extra small but otherwise I, I think it's cute maybe I could style it in a cute way somehow it's a nice basic um another item which <sighs> lord is <laughs> I promise you it's a skirt I promise you it's a skirt I promise you it's a skirt it is the smallest micro mini skirt I've ever come across in my life and I saw it and I was like I gotta have it I gotta have it like for I don't know maybe I'm not looking in the right places but like in the US I don't see that many micro micro minis like I don't know but I saw it and I and I had to have it I had to have it it is by Hollister vintage vintage Hollister if it was this teeny weeny eeny bitsy witsy tiny ass skirt um yeah it's like a medium denim wash and it is just it, it's something it's something I don't know if I'd even be able to wear it in public but I could finesse it in like pictures you know what I mean I, I, I'm sorry I just think I think it's a vibe it reminds me of like Christina Aguilera when she came out at the award show in this itsy bitsy and I feel like I feel like if they were able to wear itsy bitsy skirts we can too like let's let's bring it back let's bring let's bring everything back why not everything's in style now so i love it i love it so much you know what would i be if not a super anime fan if i were to go on a japanese proxy site and not buy something anime or manga related so I bought this is the last thing in the haul by the way I don't know if you can see it really but it is one of my fave animes <sighs> R.I.P. because the studio that did this anime gangsta I think they ran out of money so like they couldn't make a season two and three to like further on like expand on the manga material so ugh, it hurts my heart it hurts my heart but either way at least I got one season out of it so I was like how about I get the manga and there are I want to say maybe 12 I could be wrong either 12 or 14 um volumes I got this one specifically because it for some reason okay these are the three main characters all right Warwick, Alex, and Nicholas are the basically the three main characters, right? And for some reason, my ultimate favorite anime character of all time, Alex, who's the main character, right? For some reason, she's only on one cover. And this is the special edition cover of the six volume. So I was like, what the hell? Like it justice justice for alex vendetto justice justice i was searching for it on my like american ebay and since she's only on the special issue a lot of the collection wouldn't have her on it and i was like it's so pointless to try to like guess and try to pick a collection and she ended up not being on the special cover so i went on here and i was lucky enough to find one and this is like the cd disc so that was all of my purchases from this buy ye haul um i hope you enjoyed it um it was pretty quick i do like i said i have another buy ye haul that i can show you guys and i'm putting i have hundreds of things in my cart so it's bound to have another haul and another one and another one and another one so um if you enjoy that go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video if you liked it also i forgot to say if you do go on by um 
if you are a new you get a couple hundred yen off and usually for me i live in california so the shipping ended up being eight dollars don't use that code your shipping might be anywhere from 30 to 100 dollars so just be mindful of that especially where you're located and shipping from japan is a long way let me know if you want to see anything else from me in the comment section down below um i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time